let me introduce y'all to this YouTube family Showing us the way to get out of debt gradually My man Josh hold it down in the household Christine dominating debt with a chokehold And the kids they are Grace and Zoe Baby Tennessee, new addition to their story Debt kicking Sunday, daily vlogging Dave Ramsey plan gonna have us live large and Every day we'll see part of their lifestyle How they budget and they keep things wrote down See them work through the envelope system No credit cards, only cash going with them You will see how their family strives to survive With the budget plan, help us understand And daily vlogs show us how to have fun When you hear this song, let me hear you say Debt is dumb Debt is dumb, debt is dumb, is dumb Let me hear you say it louder What's going on, people? Welcome back to Debt Kickin' Sunday. Post vlogger fair. Guys, I was in my happy place. I was like skipping through the daisies the whole time. It was so much fun. I was in my element. That's because she didn't have to do eight hours of driving in a 24 hour period. I offered, okay? I'm just saying. Yeah, we were about 15 minutes from home on the way home, and she's like. You started to look a little tired. She's like, You want me to drive? No, I think I can kick at the last okay. 15. So, what do you guys think about our daily vlogs? Did you catch on to the new schedule? Saturday's going to be topical, a debt-related topic that we're going to discuss. Uh, so leave comments for that down below. It was back to school this last Saturday. Um, Sunday, we'll normally have a debt kicking Sunday. And then Fridays, we'll have dinner vlogs. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you get the family. And occasionally, you'll get something on Friday. So um, there might be two posts, two Blogs posted on Friday. Ooh, Scooby. So I've been Scooby snazzing tree. it up though with my editing skills. What do you think? Have you noticed? Do you like it? Does it make it look make us look more professional and polished? That's what I was going for. I forgot to mute my phone. Okay, so let us know what you think. Okay, first question. Let's get going. I wanted to ask a question. My emergency fund is covering my single current single debt. Should I use it to pay it down and get rid of it? Or not and stay in debt for about 18 months longer. I know I, I will be needing to replace the car part in the near future and it costs as much as the emergency fund. Until New Year's, I'm kind of stuck financially because I will be paying back some taxes till December. New balance shoes are the best and a big like on the debt kicking weekends. So it sounds like your emergency fund can wipe out the rest of the debt you have or it's going to replace a car part here in the near future. Well, I, th mm, I think the car part would be a little more important because yeah. that's going to get you back for it to work is my guess to pay down the rest of your debt. That's <laughs> right. You're going to need your car if it's an important part. Yeah, right. I, would, I would go with, if it was my decision, it would be the car. Yeah. And then just get gazelle intense. On the rest of that. Out of debt. That's, you're so close. You can do this. You got this, yo. Okay, I like the idea of a debt kicking weekend. I just gave myself a wake up since December. I have, or I'm sorry, I keep track every month how much we spend on eating out. I was shocked to see how much we have spent since December until June for eating out. It was over $2,700. Ouch. Yeah, how many other people have a problem with eating out, out. though? Yeah. You're not the only one. We need to change our habit. Yes, you do. That is bad. I tell you, I was so thankful for emergency fund. A few weeks back, I knew our van needed new front brakes, but it turned out we needed a lot more work done. Uh, with the emergency fund, I was able to tell them to fix everything and didn't worry about where the money was going to come from. Wow, it was nice to not have the stress. I do have a question. How would I figure out how much to start setting aside for a new van? Our van right now is a 2006. It has over 200,000 miles on it. It does have a new engine and new transmission, but I want to start saving money before it does die. Sorry this is so long. Thank you again for your videos. Well, you need to figure out what you want to buy in the first place, and then how much that, you know, if it's a newer used van, and then you need to figure, figure out, hey, they're running $10,000. Does that's what's, or, you know, whatever it's going to cost and figure out how far out you want to buy that. So if it's $10,000 and you want to buy it in two years, $10,000 divided by 24 months, that's how much I'd be sticking aside every month, you if mean, you could afford it. You mean our van won't make it to like 500,000 miles? Unfortunately, no. 
But you see what I mean? You just need to figure out what you want to buy, how far out you want to buy it, and just figure out buy the math. Plan for it. Buy used. Buy used. You probably know that instead of buying brand new. Okay. Thanks for the question. Okay, deck kicking weekends sound great. Good, because I just explained we're going to have topics on Saturdays. Now. Sweet! You guys are a real inspiration. Just asking again. Hala, thank you for your patience. Hubby and I are just starting. We have a seven-year-old daughter. How do you deal with the guilt of saying no? I have tried to explain about getting out of debt. She asked me the other day if we are poor. I asked her if she had clean water to drink, food to eat, clean clothes to wear, and a safe place to sleep. She said yes, so I said we aren't poor. But I still feel guilty saying no. Any advice? Thanks from Australia. You are an awesome parent. Mm -hmm. You gave her daughter the best. It's going to make me cry again. This darn motherhood. But you gave her, because it's emotional. It is. It, it, you, like, you got your priorities straight. It and is. she's going to be just fine. Um, we just sat down and talked to our kids time after time after time and explained to them why we're doing this. What the benefits of saving our money and budgeting our money and what the outcome is going to be. Yeah. And after like the 15th time of hearing it, yeah. they finally understood it. They're like, I get it. Kids don't get it on the first time. No. So it requires a lot of um, discipline and routine on your behalf because the more they see you doing it, they'll do it. Like Grace was playing Barbies the other day, and I guess both girls were, and they wanted to go to the mall with their Barbies, but they only had $30 in the budget in their cash envelope. And I was secretly like, yes. It was all made up. They get it. More is caught than taught, you guys. Uh, she wants time with you more than she wants a toy. So there's our tips. Hopefully it helps. Asking again, we have a 16-year-old son who needs a car. We have two pay-for cars, a 2002 and a 2003, and we'll pay cash for the next used car. He will pay us for one of our cars. How old of a car do you think we should buy? We are thinking newer than ours. Love, Deck Cake and Weekend. It all depends on how much money you want to spend. I would buy a 98 and 2002 again. Yeah. So... I mean, like I said, it all depends on how much money, how much cash you have. They'll really determine on what year to buy and, and so on. Do your reviews, figure out what I mean, I'm, I would think in your mind you're thinking a specific reliable. year, a specific car. So that at that point, it'd just be how much cash I had if I could get that. And what year has the best reviews, reviews. and less complaints? There you Do go. Do your homework. Don't you love it? You come to Deck Kick on Sunday and you get homework. <laughs> my husband gets paid once a month which is great we are learning to enjoy that I am a hairstylist so I get paid randomly and while I can estimate what I will make a week or month I can't be sure any advice for how this can work when, our uns when you're unsure of your income yes it's called an irregular budget form irregular income budget, budget form. form Dave Ramsey's link is down below and uh, you'll be able to find an e right click on it there's an irregular budget option in the form section of his in website form. and it shows you how to, how to pay your bills and how to work your snowball at the same time or save up for other things just wanted to let you know that I like the debt kicking weekend idea quick question my husband and I are hoping to start a family soon how much money would you suggest putting aside based on experience for medical expenses and needed items? For that one, best I, advice. Yeah. Do your homework. Do your homework. All all we did is we called our insurance company and said, "Give me the worst case scenario. If we want to have a new baby and it's naturally born, what are our deductibles? What does our insurance cover?" They shot us a number, and that was what we based everything on. Of worst case, and we decided, well, if if you one if you're already pregnant, then you have nine months to save for it, or if not, you have time to save for it plus the nine months. I have to say, I found it really attractive for you to take over that role. It showed me that you wanted a baby so much that you were calling the hospital <laughs> yeah. and planning in our insurance. <laughs> so just contact your insurance company. <laughs> Did I make you uncomfortable? I'm never uncomfortable. I've been married to this too long. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Oh. I just burned up ten minutes here trying to find. We <laughs> have to go all the way to the bottom again because it takes forever. <laughs> we have to edit you all would, this you out. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna edit this out. I'm doing okay. How are you? NBC right there. There Probably. we are. I will try not to fat finger it. Okay, guys? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Question with the envelopes. Do you add money for next year's expenses even 
now that the expense is in the near future, I normally would just pay out of our monthly checks like our coal and oil we get once a year. I work only through the spring, summer, and fall and have always used that money for these kinds of expenses before I tell my money where to go. I have paid over $4,500 in debt in the past, off of debt in the past few months. Who knew we had that kind of money? Life on a budget is awesome. Thanks again for the inspiration. I know, Hola. right? Good job. Our envelopes, we just, like if it's a once a year thing, we just save every month until the month that it's due, and then we pay for it, and then that following month we're saving back for it for the following year. So throw, every, throw all your expenses into your budget. And yeah. sink fun for the big ones that you know. Like yeah, and those are in our, week, or our monthly, weekly budgets or whatever to fill that envelope. They're in there. Because you're not working one season a year. Correct. Spring, so you're not working in the winter. You still, hopefully, better be doing a budget through the winter. I'm sure you are because that's how you have to survive. So make sure you just do your budget 12 months and sink fun for those expenses. My husband and I will have all debt paid off except our mortgage by March. This will free up $950 a month. My goodness, I want to be in your shoes. We have $1,000 in savings and I currently put $100 in a Roth account. My question is, we are starting to outgrow our house. Should I pay my house off or save for a down payment on a new house? What is the next step? Okay, one red flag I see is that you don't have your emergency fund. If you own a house, the advice we have for you guys, anyone that owns a house should have a three to six month emergency fund. Of expenses, so, three to six months of expenses. Of expenses. So you might want to um, work on paying the house off since you're so close or get your emergency fund and pay the house off at the same time. Work on those two, but you need an emergency fund because a thousand dollars, gosh, that doesn't go very far. It all depends too on how much the house is. You know, if it's ten thousand dollars to pay the house off and you can start saving for a new one, sure. But if you got two hundred thousand dollars, I would recommend just doing the baby steps one through seven. Yeah, and and it would I would love to live in a tiny paid for house right now with a really nice emergency fund. That's what I would do. I am so glad I found your channel. I've already learned so much. I am proud to say that we are debt-free minus our house. Wow, it feels awesome to say that. It does, doesn't it? We are on baby step number three. My first question is how now, how to plan for sinking funds when you are not sure how much they will cost. For example, car repairs or medical expenses. We also want to save for a few home items that will need replacing, knock on wood, not until after January, our hot water heater and dryer. How do you suggest saving for items that may need replacing and how much should we set aside? Thanks for your awesome videos and I would love to see how boyfriend makes spreadsheets, budget forms, etc. Because I am sure they can help us on our budget path too. Many blessings. A lot of things are pretty fixed on cost. Like water heaters, you know how much water heaters cost. Um, medical expenses, I mean you should probably know what your deductibles and doctor's visits and whatnot are so again those are easy things to plan for and put a sinking fund together and do all. The car one is, is an oddball one. We only do like $50 a month and that's just to catch the majority of the oil changes and what stuff like that. I mean obviously if a transmission goes out $50 a month isn't going to cover that. That's yeah. what your emergency fund is for, your big emergency fund. But all the other expenses, you should be able to get down pretty pretty close to what the dollar value dollar value is to start a stinking fund for it. Like I'm thinking for like the pumpkin patch and school clothes, our dollar amount is our budget. So figure out how much you want to spend on those. If you're questioning those kinds of items, and then divide it by twelve and put it into your envelopes that way. So thanks for the question. Hi guys, I was just curious what you would do. I don't have any interest in keeping up with the Joneses. Ah, oh, oh, yes. And I'm extremely frugal, but members of our family are constantly getting new trucks, houses, going out to dinner, etc. In our faces, and we and think we are weird for not participating. Then when times get hard for them, our in-law family just gives them money. It is so frustrating. How would you deal with this constant flaunting in your faces? Thanks. We had that. Doesn't bother us now because we're self sufficient and uh, we don't need any help. Right? And I think it's the word contentment. If you are content with what you have, that it does not matter, even if they are a family, what anybody else has. Yeah, you might think, you know, whatever, 
rubs you the wrong way, brand new truck across the street rubs you the wrong way. But really, that's between them and God. It's, it's more of a faith issue than a you and them issue because you can't control their finances or their choices. But there will become a point in time where you are debt-free, everything is paid for, everything's cash, everything, and they're still going to have the new truck, they're still going to have the mortgage house up to their eyeballs, they're still going to have all the toys, and they're still going to go out to eat on their credit cards. Yep. And you're going to have everything paid for in cash and be like, man, I'm glad we worked really hard because look at everything I own and look at everything they're leasing. Yep. Have peace of mind with knowing that you're making the right decisions and you've got us. You've got this entire debt is dumb family that will accountability that will back yeah, you. Yeah, buddy. So, okay, you guys, that's it for this week on questions. Thank you. Leave more down below and we will get them up next Sunday. That's us, by the way. Not you. <laughs> See you next time. Later. Check out our daily vlogs and all the goodness that happened. Thumbs up. At, Check the uh, link below. Vlogger fair. Okay, love you. I don't. Did you hear what we just said? Okay, we'll try again next time. Bye. Now you're afraid to get up because. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, uh, let me hear you say it with me. Let me hear you say it louder. Let me hear you say it with me.